Nuclear engineering senior Joe Carabetta and co-founder Evan Mertz are speeding into the electric skateboard business with their invention, the Kicker, a device that can be attached to any skateboard in under a minute. Well, with electric one, you don't have to push or you don't have to kick anymore. Um, it's a lot of fun because I take it around West Lafayette whenever I'm bored at night uh, and I can go through like the streets. Like, it feels like you're surfing. It's pretty cool. Carabetta first came up with the idea for Kicker in high school when he wanted to find a way to make his own skateboard even faster. So in high school, I had the idea for making an electric skateboard. Um, I had no idea how to do it. So I went to a couple of my friends. They were into robotics and uh, electronics. And it's, I kept asking questions pretty much, just going to anyone who possibly knew anything more than I knew. A couple of working prototypes in high school, but they were really not, not finished at all. I mean, it worked, but it wasn't like good enough. And I did it for a little bit in freshman year of college, and then I kind of forgot about it. Carabetta and Mertz met at a former Purdue club a few years ago after Carabetta had stopped working on the idea. Joe and I, we met in Electric Vehicle Club, where we did a lot of different conversions and found out later that he was interested in doing a skateboard, and I kind of told him, we need to do it. The kicker can reach up to speeds of 20 to 25 miles per hour, climb up hill, and the battery lasts for four to six hours. A small garage off campus has housed the creation of this versatile device. To electrify every longboard because it could literally electrify any longboard or skateboard that you'd have. It wasn't just a specific board you had to buy. This idea is not the first project Carabetta and Mertz have worked on together. One of their previous projects actually involved motorizing a different kind of vehicle. Mini, um, what's it called? Those are mini bikes. Have you seen those before? But we made one electric and we like tightened down something too tight and it like broke. And so when we turned it on, it went, <laughs> like, oh my god. <laughs> it's also more cost effective than buying an electric board, as those can run up to $2,000. You can just take our gizmo and put it on your board. So you're not only saving money for not having to buy a whole board all over again, but it's your board, so it's way cooler. As the hobby turned into a business, they created a Kickstarter project. So far, they have sold approximately 100 models to be shipped out later this year. We have some marketing planned. But it's hard, it, our best marketing tool is to get them out there. Is to get the product in people's hands and they tell their friends about it. For those interested in supporting these entrepreneurs, feel free to visit their website. People can check out our website at gokicker.com whenever they want to just see what we're doing, see the cool product we made. While the winter season isn't optimal for longboarding, hopefully in the spring and summer, we'll be seeing more students using the kicker on campus. Reporting for Fast Track, I'm Lauren Westberg.